Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter from the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, ready to talk uh, about some technology, some local awesomeness going on in the city of Pittsburgh. But first, please go check out everything at awesomecast.net. You can check out this in other interviews and video audio formats and subscribe to this and the Awesome Cast. And please, if you're digging what we're doing, please contribute to the patreon.com slash awesomecast uh, if you want to become our boss, support uh, everything that we're making here. And, uh, and, 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 and we have in studio today, Carl Cimini. I got it right, right? <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> I love it. It was a flair to it. You must, have, you must have gone to Italy one time. I've eaten a lot of Italian food. I'll right. tell you that much. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, But uh, Carl's here with uh, PCTV, uh, you know, more broadly known as uh, the Pittsburgh's local cable access channel. Yes, that is who I am and where we are. <laughs> Pittsburgh Community Access Television. Right, right, and um, so, so Carl, uh, uh, first, let us know, uh, you know, what do you do in in uh, conjunction with PCTV Twenty One here? Uh, well, my job is actually uh, director of communications, so I should be able to talk about this really well and Good. what I do, <laughs> at least at the very least. But also, to I supervise productions down there and bring in shows, recruit shows to come in, help with training. Uh, we are a nonprofit, so I have removed debris from the back rooms. We've done everything and anything, as all nonprofits do. You kind of like to have a focus for your job, but generally we do it all. At least I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We go out in the field, we shoot, we do technology. We just And, and it really is uh, fun because uh, no day is the same. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so, the, one of the reasons I wanted to get you on one, you uh, PCTV uh, has has been uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, changes over the last several years, um, including you know the, on the digital front and and and. I know one thing for me when when I was first uh, interacting with you guys several years ago when we were putting some stuff from the Pittsburgh Foundation on on the channel, even Awesome Cast was carried on there for a little bit, and. Uh, you know, it, it, I, my, my always, it was always funny to me because it was like, oh, great, I'm on public access. I'm a cord cutter. I can't even see it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And obviously that, that has changed with uh, some stuff that you guys have been doing over the last several years. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, well, uh, we had for the Internet, as we know, sort of came about in the early 90s. And PCTV has been in existence uh, since the early 80s. And... We are not a, uh, we haven't been at least an early adopter of any technology whatsoever. Um, but in the last uh, two to three years, we've, uh, I've been there. Uh, I've tried to initiate a, a move towards IP television and using all the different platforms that are available to get all of the programming out. And also, too, to be able to take on new programming and more substantive programming than has been in the past so yeah it's it's been a it's been a big change for us and uh hopefully uh we get a bigger audience um than the uh terra cable can deliver we 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 have been and still are on cable television throughout the city there we're in 90,000 homes and that's somewhat of a novelty for a lot of people still to this day um but you know we we, we really use our our, our viewership Over the first, uh, you know, since 1990, we first went on to YouTube and we never used it um, and we never used IP broadcast at all. And in the last four years, we started to use it and and we've increased our online presence, um, you know, by I think it was 5,000 percent, some ridiculous amount. I mean, you start with nothing. So but. Over the last three years, you know, we've really started to cultivate a nice digital audience for our producers. 
Now, are you finding that a lot of this audience is, uh, we're looking on video with a little bit of the website and the stuff you guys are doing, uh, are you finding that the audience is still very localized? Like, like we know Pittsburgh is a very large uh, expatriate community, right, that are very interested, you know, Steelers fans, etc. People come back, people watching what's happening here. Uh, are you finding those people getting involved and just to see what's happening in Pittsburgh? or, or You, know, how, what, you know, it's interesting because there are a lot of people who do use our tags and, and, and will find us. And they just about, you know, anything Pittsburgh they want to see. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, too, a lot of the community uh, producers and a lot of the shows that we produce are um, fairly tech savvy and are able to use all the social media platforms. And they, you know, are basically they have global reach. So, you know, you get a lot of people outside of Pittsburgh wanting to find out about Pittsburgh politics or um what's just generally going on in the community overall through the voice of uh, community access here locally which is really great excellent so uh, and also i was able to uh well, first mention here a couple weeks ago uh you guys had your uh, open house for the newly renovated pc tv uh studios up there on the north side uh, can you talk a little bit about that and what, what did those renovations kind of do to uh, i guess rejuvenate a little bit um, um what's going on over there Right. Um, we uh, just completed a $350,000 renovation of our facility on the north side at, on Western Avenue on the North Shore. Um, they, it's kind of, you know, the, 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 the original building is a um, warehouse building, and uh, we've converted it uh, from what it was, which was a little bit long in the tooth, and we hadn't really spent a lot of money, but our executive director came in, and um, that's been one of his goals was to renovate the space. And now it's fairly um, fairly functional, let's say. <laughs> you know, we have everything that works and can work for the community producer and uh, for the person who wants to come over there and try their hand at making television and uh you know so the facility's just great we you know it's really nice going to work in a place where doors work and lights work <laughs> and and what have you we you know the past four years we you know we some of the lighting in the office areas and things it's just not not necessarily um the most functional but now it's everything is very efficient and uh quite nice there's, there's some uh that's our studio there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so there's some clips from uh, some of the stuff that we produce. Uh, that's a cooking show that we do locally that you're looking at right now. And that's the owner of the Priory over there. And uh, So, yeah, we, we produce all kinds of different things, and we have the new and nifty uh, facility to do it in. We like to say um, that... Uh, we don't make YouTube videos. We make YouTube videos better. That's good. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, and I know a lot of the people that are using us now. Right. They can they can do their YouTubes, their YouTube videos. They can do their media themselves. And, you know, you, uh, you can do so much with an iPhone and, mm-hmm. and Periscope and all of those things. And, but still, a lot of people like the convenience of just being able to go in and get some hands-on assistance for their shows. Mm-hmm. It's very convenient for most of the community producers. If they're doing a half-hour show, they're in and out in an hour. I mean, it's very, very, if they do their homework, they just come in, lighting there and cameras, we're ready to roll and we're out in, in an hour and a half. And that's, they don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And the, and the cost is uh, really quite affordable. It, 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 it seems interesting. So the accessibility, you know, we, we talk about like, uh, you know, some conversations like is, is YouTube, the Internet, kind of the new public access because everybody can put something on there. But but again, to get something that looks good, you have to do a bit, know which equipment to use, you know, uh, and, 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 and I like that idea that is kind of an enhancement of that. Right. Right. And, and, and you can see where YouTube themselves is actually try, is, is experimenting with uh YouTube spaces in uh, London, and I believe there's one in New York now where they uh, really encourage producers to come in mm-hmm. to a, a, a space to do their uh, productions. So, you know, that's that's kind of where we are. We're not in any way um, worried too much about 
the um, internet and iPhones taking away from what we do, because you know we we this is what we do for a living, so we can make it hopefully better than what a person can do with their iPhone. Sometimes people are really great with their iPhones, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, and people, you know, and 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 this whole landscape of media. You know, I know we're periscoping right now, and 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 it's almost as if some things are going to be affected by this. Um, I think information uh, will be uh, change and how it's disseminated. I think deeper quality information about things probably won't change, but news will change radically because everyone who has the Periscope app is now a reporter right. in the field. Right. So, and, and, and we know when we go see or we watch local news, we, most people, most sensible people, raise an eyebrow and say, well, what's really going on? And here, if you have six people with periscopes up in, uh, you know, at the scene of a crime or an avalanche or what have you, oh my gosh, you know, that takes the news media right out mm -hmm. because you can pick and choose your, 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 your reporter. So the technology is really great for, uh, you know, and that's changing news, but for deeper information locally, um, I think there's still going to be a need for some sort of, uh, authoritative, and I hate to use that word, but some, some work will be involved in it. It won't just be somebody wheeling and dealing with an iPhone. Right. Right. So how can, uh, one thing you mentioned, um, um, you were talking about, you know, people are able to come in and use the studio and also like some people that want to get, you know, make a YouTube video, get on TV, make, make a show, don't have the technical know-how. You guys really do kind of, uh, kind of handhold a little bit part, part of that and, and teach people along the way too, right? Right. Yeah. We offer, uh, some, uh, workshops so that if you want to shoot something outside of the studio, you can, and we have cameras that you can take out and you do a workshop and we show you how to use the cameras and we also have some editing courses that we offer so that you can actually edit your own footage if you want to take it to the next level but you know if you're just interested in coming in and doing a talking show with uh, guests on the show you know you can do that with uh, minimal effort just do your research we recommend that all the community producers put some time into their show some research for their guests and get their questions together before they come in. Um, it, we try, we try to discourage people from just doing vanity television where they're just talking, um, uh, about whatever comes to their mind. And it's a, it's a local and some, you know, it's, it's really great. And I'm really happy when I see people, you know, talking about, you know, their pets and what have you, but you know, it's, it's not what, what we strive for we like to have people with focus and at least a you know if you have a body of work out there if you're doing something if you have a specialty just focus on that specialty and, and come in and make a show that's what we like to see that's right and if you want to talk to your pets there's always podcasting right yeah <laughs> and you can you can do that yes you can yes you can and you can and and i mean if we 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 do get um the humane society to come down and awesome. they do a show and 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 that kind of thing and and i mean you know when we're sitting here and you're you're doing a podcast now but the thing is chris i mean I, people don't know like how much technology is wrapped up in in front of me right here they can't see that but you, you've got like <laughs> you know you've got six monitors three you know you've got everything going on here mm -hmm. that pretty much you know we have over there and mm -hmm. and so it says you know you can do a podcast with your iphone but you can't do graphics and you can't make it look nice like this well minus me but you can't make a make it look unless you're willing to put a lot of work in what you have here. So right, right. Well, thank you, thank you. And, and, and I think that's really important. I, I, again, you know, this is this is something that we've we've uh, built over doing this for ten years. You know, and we know okay, we can get away with a thirty dollar camera because we're doing such and such with it. There's a lot more going on around here, um, and I'll review those secrets some other time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh uh but no that's awesome that's amazing um so so uh, from that you know we have the accessibility and i think it is really important um you know to to, to get in front of good equipment uh, uh and, and having a good idea what, what kind of variety of things are you 
you guys seeing come through uh, on PC TV? If I'm going to check out the channel, like obviously a lot of local stuff, but any kind of uh, out of the box stuff that really surprises you? Well, uh, right now we have uh, there's uh, two community producers who have approached us, and they're putting together sort of a local comedy skit show, which is really great. Um, we haven't aired it yet. It's not they're not going. In, they're not quite done with it. They want to get it just right. But they're really doing some high end production with our equipment there to do a, a skit comedy uh, program. We have uh, shows that you know are um, you know into. We have a UFO show, UFOs over Pittsburgh, which is into its twenty fifth episode, and uh, we have uh, the the host is a uh, uh, fellow John Ventry, who is um, who is on the I believe History Channel's Hangar One program. So he's a authoritative UFO expert and uh, whatever that means and he uh is on our show he does that show then we have political jungle which is a local lobbyist uh an attorney steve Irwin, who comes on and he basically talks uh to politicians and and it's more of a bio type show where politicians get to talk about their life and he explores that kind of thing with them and it's not a confrontational political show at all mm -hmm. um and you know a plus schools is using us to try to make school pittsburgh public school school system more responsible and the last show they did was um uh kind of on uh, how they would like to see this new superintendent picked so you know it's a lot of really good local stuff now and um you know, of course, uh, we, we've got Chris Whitlack doing his show mm -hmm. uh, into Pittsburgh, and Chris is one of our better hosts. He is a boatload of uh, energy, fun, and insight, uh, and he does his homework really well. So he'll come in, and he knocks out two shows in uh, literally uh, an hour and, you know, hour and a half, and he's out of there. And uh, he, he, he has a just a, you know, huge... Uh, list of guests, and he's well connected in the nonprofit and just the community in general. So he he brings in just great guests, and he'll do anything. And that's Chris. Yes, he'll do anything from uh, play a uh, bagpipe uh, to rapping, uh, <laughs> just about anything. And it it shows actually very very uh, great. It's a great access model for a show because mm -hmm. it's all local. It's really good, and, and Chris is, you know, his background is uh, he's a, a professional, so he understands the medium and he knows how to work it. So, in in collaboration with him, I think we've come up with something very nice there. Awesome, awesome, and, and of course, Chris, you know, uh, uh, worked with him uh, on the uh, long running uh, unsung series we did for for a while. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really funny. Yeah, he has his finger on the pulse of things around town. So he sure does. So, all right. Uh, so how can people, uh, become involved with you guys? Well, uh, you can go to our website, pctv21.org and you can, uh, click on the become a producer tab and you'll see, uh, the schedule or you can go to the calendar and find an orientation date and you can, um, Go do the orientation. You'll get all the information, and then we'll set up a time for you to come in and do a producer prep class. At that time, you'll be given a number of options on how much you want to buy in for. Um, unlimited access, which consists of two studio times a month, and you can check out our equipment. Uh, it's two, $250 a year. We figured it out. It comes out to about... $3 an hour for studio time, which mm -hmm. is just incredible. That's, that's great. <laughs> and then um, if you um, if you want to go in for less, I think our low price point is $75 for six months, which has some limitations on it. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really kind of uh, it's really affordable, actually, over the year if you want to do that. So if you go to our producer uh, page, you can look around our website there's information on how to become a producer and look at our calendar, find an orientation, uh, call up, schedule to come in for the orientation. You'll be briefed on what we do and how it's done, and then you'll be you'll come through on a producer prep. And after the producer prep, you're ready to go into the studio and do your show. 
great. That's great. And, and it's not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to be creating something specifically for TV, right? Like, no. Like, no, it, it you is don't. a broad. What you, we like to see is, mm-hmm. at least at the very least, we would like to have one show within the uh, six month period, mm-hmm. uh, one show submitted. But a lot of people use us for um, their own internet placement. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's fine. We have a lot of producers. We have exercise shows that are wildly famous and popular mm-hmm. online that are produced there. And we get a couple, and then we put them on every year. But they use us that way for the same fee. Um, you cannot, if you're a community producer, you cannot do commercial things, overtly commercial things on, on with our equipment. You can't sell things. You can't. It, it has to be nonprofit or free speech. It cannot be um, for-profit speech, if you will. So you can't sell stuff and you can't use it to do a car commercial <laughs> and those kinds of things because that's not what we're – that's not our mission. Right. Um, but you can um, – you do have full license to your product. So you can use it as you see fit once you produce it. Mm-hmm. But you just can't use it to sell things. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah. So that's a really great resource, and, and, and things are starting to pick up over there. We're, you know, and We've always been busy, and we generally book up every month for studio time. But we're getting a whole new, since thanks to the internet, we're getting a whole new crew of people. A whole new group of people are coming in now. And uh, we, we, you know, the only people in the past who seemed to be able to use access television were ministers and religious people because... They uh, would have the time to put their show together, and then the rest of the week, you know, they'd just come in and redo their sermon uh, on camera. And so now we've kind of gotten away from that, and we find that the community has a lot more uh, interesting people and interesting things going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really fun. It's so nice to be able to shine a light on Pittsburgh um in that way so that people can get the information out to the public whatever it is it's really really just a great thing for us i i love that aspect of it where we can expose people to different things um that they would never know in their own community was going on that's awesome yeah i I talk a lot on 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 basic sorgonomics about uh lending technology not let the technology get in the way, uh, you know, easy access, free to go create things. And it, and it sounds like this is a really good option for people that just want to start making something cool and, and get their feet wet in video production and, 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 and tr- start kind of building something. And I love that, you know, you do have the access to maybe, you know, do a YouTube show, do something else, you know, do something like this, maybe, you know, um, that's, that's really, really cool. Well, um, one thing I'd like to add too, is that, you know, there, there's kind of this, whole different view of traditional access that's happening and it's kind of tongue-in-cheek parody type zach galifianakis mm-hmm. interviewing the president between two ferns between right two ferns. <laughs> there are a number of really great like send-ups of access television and what's really funny is that we have new technology there we have new uh hd cameras and we we up until uh, about three years ago, we would have uh, been able to create that look right away. Mm-hmm. But uh, now um, we we will have to uh, use technology to create the look to 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 to, to uh, you know put it back, if you will. <laughs> and it's really interesting. Well, I want to say we so- can shoot four by three. Uh huh. You know, we can shoot four by three for you. We can enrich the colors. We can make it look. <laughs> You know, uh, 1970s, um, but uh, yeah, th- four years ago, that's that's how it really looked without any filters. But now we'll have to add some filters, but we can give you that traditional access look if that's what you want. Well, even even the 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 uh, ominous black background that happens here, this is actually green screen. Am I correct in that? Uh, yes, uh, it depends on the show. What, mm-hmm. what episode? It, yes, that's green screen. Mm-hmm. That is green screen because right now we're in the process of getting that studio redone. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll have curtains back there, and then we'll bring and, you know we and, might work with it. But there you go, there you go. There so is, so uh, there's there's the uh, the lampooning, and then there's the actual. So yes. <laughs> and and I think I think on uh, Galifianakis's show that is a uh, that is not a green screen. Uh, yeah, I think I see a little bit of curtain there's there. A in real the background. curtain now with with uh, Chris's show. That's just. 
a uh, I'm not sure if we're running a video of a curtain mm -hmm. or we it's actually a <laughs> photograph of a curtain back there. And then we have uh, some contrast going on there. Oh. But that is green screen for sure. I love there. it. I love it. I did that for a, a project uh, for, for a client and, and just figuring out how we're, we're basically trying to create a cable access in their office. Right, right? <laughs> with the, with a yeah, nice yeah. green screen and everything, and and I had to explain how the green screen worked because they're like, "How did you put that background That's in great. there?" It, yeah. it, it was amazing, and and you know, it's really interesting because you can, I mean, you, you know, we I uh, I kind of like the idea of using the studio in a four corner manner, and you have one corner for green screen, and then you have three other corners mm -hmm. for uh, different kind of firm sets, mm -hmm. but um, we have a couple people that are shooting uh, an entire film green screened in there oh star wars and, style huh <laughs> yeah now this is uh this is john uh, ventry of history channel fame uh talking about his ufo shows mm -hmm. and um yeah uh he uh he does a really great job i mean you know it's kind of weird to to you know do his shows because sometimes you 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 find out things that you know, uh, how does he know that and where did he get that information? But mm -hmm. uh, overall, it's a big hit. I mean, it's huge hit. I mean, he I, and you know how the uh, Internet is. I mean, if you, 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 you know, number one search term in the history of the Internet is UFO. So, you know, he he, he has a built in audience that he brings with him also. So but, yeah, it's uh, that's uh, our our. Yeah. U UFOs over Pittsburgh show. Awesome. There's a lot of good stuff on here. Uh, check it out. PCTV21.org if you're in or outside the Pittsburgh area. Uh, it is on if you're around uh, the Verizon, Fios, and Comcast channels. Uh, and how far out does that reach? Uh, occasionally it will leak out into the neighborhoods around the city, Mount mm -hmm. Lebanon, in the North Hills, Ross Township, occasionally out that way. But, you know, it's more... IP based now anyway, so mm -hmm. you know you can catch it online. Our stream is online. We have our own on demand player, and then we have our YouTube and uh, uh, you know sites. So it's all all there for the taking and asking and doing. So it's right. a lot of fun. And if you have something that you want to tell the community, or you want to get the community behind you, or involved in a, in any kind of movement, or just uh, any kind, if you want to help people, or you have a story to tell, mm -hmm. you definitely want to get in touch with us because that's what we're here for. And, and really kind of have a bigger built-in audience than if you just put up a video on YouTube and that was it. Right. Because if you put up, uh, you know, it, you, it, there was a comment that the best way for somebody to never see your video is to just put it on YouTube and do nothing. Right. <laughs> and you can use all the platforms that are online. Right. And, right. and then there's a synergy that's created between all the producers because... People come to our site and they want to watch UFOs, but then all of a sudden they find themselves binging on um, the Political Jungle or Chris's show or or any of the programs that we have, and and then our, one of the other shows that we have, and and you know we it's our probably um, one of our more f famous performers is. Uh, Tra Tracy, the trailer trash girl. I don't know if you're familiar with <laughs> what that. What is this? We have a, sh a program called Tracy, the trailer trash girl. Okay. And um, he uh, does his show where he is a, and it's an after hours program. Mm -hmm. And he is a um, 45 year old man who wears oh, no. women's clothing. And um, maybe he's 50 by now. And uh, he has his yes, that's Tra Tracy there. <laughs> that's amazing. That's 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 Tracy, and he does rants about sports and anything and everything that comes just into his mind. It's uh, sort of a, you know, I like to think of it as an art piece because it's it's really uh, just completely raw mm. beyond belief, and I like to think of it as like more of an installation type piece. One time it would be great. He probably would be in um, uh, MoMA with it if he just would only do it one time. But he does it, you know, twice a month. So, uh, he, you know, if you can't get enough. He's on After Midnight and he's a big, uh, big hit. Well, that's the thing. Like, um, basically, After Midnight, it's is it more or less anything goes? Yes. That's the thing, too, is that After Midnight, 
you can and free speech and this is this is uh, you know, our mission is to provide uh you know speaker's corner for people and that means free speech and free speech cuts both ways i mean you're mm-hmm. not going to like a lot of things you see on there mm-hmm. but that they they're only speaking and you're not going to uh, you know there are some things that are going to make you want to you know jump up and throw uh throw a brick at your television eh, because but so does fox speech. news and, and so does cnn yes. and, and whoever else right yeah, so there's not really I much mean, difference so you know we 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 try to stay with our um mission we have to do that for our mission and mm-hmm. and so you know and it's kind of cool in a way and at times you, you you do hold your nose and you say oh man i can't do that i you know i don't really want to it's this guy's terrible and he's doing something that you personally may not like politically but unfortunately right. The, our mission is to let everybody have their moment in the sun and get their free speech out there. So that's what we do. We can't really draw lines hard and fast on what we want. Excellent. Excellent. So if you, whatever your belief system is, you know, that's irrelevant to us. All we do mm-hmm. is put it out there and then, you know, we either clap or we just say, nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. I think we've seen a good uh, breadth of, of, of everything going on there. Uh, go check out, like I said, PCTV21.org. And we got uh, your email right there, uh, Carl, at PCTV21.org, if you want to uh, contact you uh, yeah, directly. get in touch and uh, just let me know if you want to do a show or you want to be involved in any way. We have a nice intern program uh, and volunteer program that we use. So if you want to come down and learn and just volunteer, we most appreciative. Excellent. Excellent. Go check it out. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again. If you want to check out more interviews uh, that we're doing over here, awesomecast.net. Look for the awesome chat. And uh, we have uh, so many great interviews with people doing technology, social media, uh, public television, everything. Uh, awesome things in Pittsburgh and a little bit outside as well. And you can subscribe to us and uh, follow us on Twitter at awesomecast. Let, you, let us know what you thought of this interview or anything else that we're doing around here. And is there anybody that we should be talking to that, that we're completely missing the boat on? We can't get everywhere it's a big little town here in pittsburgh and we're trying to get everybody we can thank you so much carl for joining me on the show thank you for having me michael it's been fun awesome you have been our awesome guest you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatron media.com 